Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to solve quadratic equations. The question here is solve each equation. We are given two equations. First one is 2x squared plus 1 equals to 5 minus x squared. Then we have 3x squared equals to 8 plus x squared. Normally, we will write all the terms on one side and 0 on the other side, but at times you may get equations in this form also. Now, how to solve such equations? Well, the strategy is bring all the terms to one side, right? So we'll prefer to bring them on the left side. So first, let us rewrite the equation in standard form, okay? That is called standard form. So we have 2x squared plus 1. We'll bring this, so we get plus x squared minus 5 equals to 0. Now let us rearrange, combining the like terms. 2x squared plus x squared is 3x squared, so we get 3x squared and we have numbers 1 and minus 5 as minus 4 equals to 0, right? So that is how we can actually rewrite the equation. And now we will solve it. To solve this equation, what should we do? So we have the equation 3x squared minus 4 equals to 0. We can take 4 to the other side. So we have 3x squared equals to 4 divide by 3, so we have x squared equals to 4 divided by 3 and the square root. So we have x equals to square root of 4 over 3. Whenever we square root, you have to do plus and minus. Got it? So we get plus and minus square root of 4 over 3. You know square root of 4 is 2. So you can write this as plus minus 2 over square root of 3. Now that is one way of writing this solution. At times, for some of the students, where who have learned rationalization we may have to rationalize and then write down the answer that means you have to multiply and divide by square root 3 because we do not like to write square root 3 in the denominator that's kind of a understood rule right in that case we get solution as 2 square root 3 over 3 right so this is only for those students who are you know, who have learned rationalization, right? So that is what it is. So that is how you could solve quadratic equations. Now let's look into the next one. Here we have 3x squared equals to 8 plus x squared. We'll do exactly the same thing. So we have 3x squared minus x squared minus 8 equals to 0, bringing all the terms to one side. So 3x squared minus x squared is 2x squared. So we have 2x squared minus 8 equals to 0. At this stage, you can factor and solve. So if I factor 2, I get 2 times x squared minus 4 equals to 0. And this can also be factored, correct? This can also be factored. So let me write this as 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 equals to 0. Now we can equate each factor to 0 to write down the solution. So we have x equals to minus 2, which we get from here and x equals to plus 2, which we get from the other factor, right? So, those are the two solutions which you will get. Well, for some of you, you could also solve in this fashion. This is the equation. And now from the equation, let's do it again. We just bring x squared to the left side. So, we have 3x squared minus x squared equals to 8. And then 3x squared minus x squared is 2x squared equals to 8 and then we can divide by 2 x squared equals to 4 and then we square root right so at this stage we get x equals to plus minus square root of 4 and that gives us plus minus 2 so that is also a correct solution so either way you can actually solve such quadratic equations i hope that helps thank you and all the best